make sense to hook up both organs together. Hello, my name is James Flores and I'm here at St. Patrick's Albury. There are actually two pipe organs in here. There's actually a bit of work being done on both the organs at the moment and I'm going to show you. It's very exciting. So let's go ahead inside. As you can see, it's a very, very beautiful church, really long um, aisle to the front of the church, which gives uh, a lot of room for the organ to speak. Spin around. There it is. Beautiful thing. Let's, uh, let's head upstairs and have a closer look. This is the view from upstairs and there's Campbell, Hargraves Park pipe organs. Um, he's got the consoles open there. And there's a, a Viscount speaker that probably needs to be removed at some point. And look at these gorgeous facade pipes. It's a open diapase and unfortunately some of the pipes uh, were missing, have gone missing in the past. Uh, don't know where they are, but hopefully one day we can get them extended and uh, make them sounding again. Here we are, here's the organ. Uh, that's the, the lone pedal board on, 16 foot. Turn the light switch on. There we have the great division. And it's quite small, it's only four ranks. And in here we have the swell. Yeah, in there's a swell, obviously. All right, let's head back downstairs. And that descent is pretty nasty. Look at that. All right, I safely made it downstairs. So the organ you see in the background is, uh, makes a really nice sound ever since the, the carpets were removed. Acoustically, it helped it very well, uh, but it is quite quiet for the, the size of this church. It's, this church is a lot bigger than St. Matthew's, just down the road. It would make sense to hook up both organs together to give it a bit more gravitas. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, and as you know, um, if we don't play organs often, they um, have trouble working and I don't use the small organ very often because yeah I'm always playing the main organ it's got the most power if I had a chance to play them both at the same time then that would really expand the possibilities of every aspect of music at this uh, beautiful parish church in the past you would have seen um, at some special masses I've had um, Thomas Summerfield which you've seen many times on my channel uh, play him simultaneously at the same time, so we can give it um, more volume, especially in a full church. Of course, I can't always have someone there playing at the same time, so that's what Campbell's doing. Uh, the mastermind behind this is uh, attaching them together. This is the back of the main organ console. Yep. The organ up there. Pedal rank is extended 16, 8, 5 and a five and a third, four foot. There's the four great ranks, open diapase and stop diapase and principal 15th. And thank God we had these um, sub and super couplers which add a bit more um, to the sound of the organ. And the swell, Gedeckt, Gamba, Gemshorn, Piccolo, free rank mixture and a trumpet. And of course we have the sub and super couplers here and behind me here we have the, the Dorian organ which used to be at the seminary in Wagga and uh, they acquired another pipe organ which suited the building more this was too loud and uh, this organ works well in this space two rank instrument uh, so the the flute rank goes all the way down and um, we have 
the diapason and the flute ranks at all different extensions so four two and we have a mutation here the larigo at one and one third now interestingly enough which i find awkward is the gaps uh, are painted in the same well they're the same color as the the naturals so that kind of puts you off it wouldn't be too difficult to put a piece of black tape or something so you know that that's natural gap and not a note i'm going to get a bit of footage of you in action campbell <laughs> I'm in the Sacred Heart travel now. Uh, Campbell's been here since 11 a.m. and he's gonna be here for quite a while, so I will, I'll let him get on with it, not disturb him too much, and uh, I'll come back later in the evening to see how he's going. So, in a couple of hours, we'll be able to hear some sounds, right, Campbell? That's correct, yes. Well, I'll, I'll probably be in bed by then, so. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but you can take a video for me. Mm -hmm. I hope you can put all this back together. It's like a Lego. Mm. <laughs> the organ or the video? The Everything's organ. Easy when you know how. The organ. And you had to remove the pedal pipes to get in. Uh, the next day, uh, so Campbell Hargraves was here pretty late last night, and um, I think the work's done. Let's have a look. So yesterday you would have seen quite a lot of stuff on the floor, uh, but now it's all done. Thanks to the cleaners who have just tidied up the church. It's all closed up now. All closed up. So, um, we should be able to control this organ from the bottom here. But I'll go place the recorder out in the center so we can have a good demonstration of it. Get some good stereo sound. There's one important configuration to remember, and that is you have to turn on this organ console to use, to use this one. It also has to be on as well. It doesn't matter what you select here, it's only going to play the, the bass, uh, the board on and the eight foot, 16 and eight in pedal, and the principal. So if we need to turn this one off, we have to turn off with the key. All right, let's have a little, let's have a little demo. you can do like echo effects now so let's try some echoes i have to do it on the swell because the grate's going to play or at the same time so i have to echo between swell and this organ behind me So if I go over to here, I should be able to play the organ just as normal. Let's try out the pedal. I've actually engaged pedal stops now. Yep. Can I use a top bite basin? Yourself a little bit closer. 
Um, I have flutes. Yeah. I'm missing a top D. Um, and the principal on its own. It works there. And I have the four foot eight and the four. We're going to have eight and four, eight and four and two now. Now, if I had that registration, will that work over here? I doubt it. I think it will just have the type pacing. Anyway, uh, and that's, so if I switch this thing off, I shouldn't get anything now. Oh, the blow is still going. <laughs> the bellows are still going. Yeah, so that will do it. Now the final test is to switch off this Turn this organ off and turn that on. None of the keys work, so you have to turn that on as well. So the power turns on, but none of the keys work because it's running on a different power system. But all good. Alright, I'm going to have to put a, a note on this organ to to inform the other organists. Great.